everybody, Tails here. Uh, this will be a part of a, another video, but um, in this uh, trading video, the final video um, for now at least, um, I'm going to be trading in some uh, games at GameStop. I'll be trading in the uh, one game. <laughs> There's people nearby. It. Oh, yeah, never mind. I'll, I'll just ignore it as best I can. I'm, I'm at the post office. I just shipped an item. So uh, I'm going to be trading in this uh, Black Ops 2, um, a few spare games. Uh, trading Grand Theft Auto 4, a uh, spare copy of Fallout 4 that I got for free, MLB 19. I wouldn't, I wasn't thinking of uh, trading this, but um, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't really play it, and uh, I, I'd sell it, but I mean, it, I only paid $3 for this, so I don't mind getting the $6 for that. And just Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, I mean, I, I can get this game pretty much any time. And I also have some loose discs that I don't know if they'll take. So I'm going to take taking those to GameStop, and I'm going to get a uh, brand new game. And that brand new game is the Alan Wake Remaster. So uh, I'll see you guys there. It worked. I traded those uh, 360 games and a couple of the PS4 games for Alan Wake Remastered. And and it's sealed. I mean, it, it just came out. So uh, yeah, there you go. And uh, so overall... Um, these were the only games they did not take. They were the disc-only games that I had. The Call of Duty 4, the Disney Infinity, you know, just the disc-only stuff. They, they took the spare copy of Fallout 3 that, or Fallout 4 that I had. But, um, yeah, so uh, Modern Warfare uh, 3 was 3.30. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 was 3.30. NCAA Football 12 was 6. Rent the Fallout 4, 6. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, 13.20. Fallout 4, 3.30. MLB 19 The Show, 3.30. And uh, that was, in total, uh, $39 in uh, store credit. I thought it was going to be, uh, like, 33 but I guess with, uh, like, the extra cents, I got uh, 40 for it. And, yeah, saved 3 bucks and got Alan Wake Remastered. So, there you go. Uh, that that is, that is awesome. I just traded those games for pretty much a free game, and I paid, like, almost 5 and under for those Xbox 360 games I got. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Brand new game. Okay, today, hopefully, I get to trade in some stuff at Bull Moose, and I'm also going to go to Core Gaming, trade some stuff in, nothing really too exciting. I'm also going to trade my PS4 controller, like, for maybe either a PS5 controller if they have them, or just something, something big. But, um, I'm also going to go to Core Gaming again, because I meant to get these games resurfaced, Need for Speed, uh, Street Fighter Alpha, Xenosaga, it does work, but I feel like I could use a resurface and reboot. It does work, but it skips, so, uh, I need to get those games resurfaced it's gonna be about like twenty dollars in uh trades and it'll probably pay me off for the xenosaga episode one so uh yeah there's that i also have a little sticky note on there and for the bullnose trade-ins i had to uh, put a few things out because uh the thing was like really heavy i mean this thing is heavy already but i'm also going to be trading in a couple random things this uh activision flashback and my ps3 is restarting or, or updating really but um yeah, my PS5, uh, PS3 updates at random, but um, I'm going to be trading in this at Bull Moose if I can. And I'm also going to be trading in this Star Wars figure that I got the... Uh, I actually, both of those I found at the church store. And everything else I got for, like, next to nothing. And uh, I heard that they take toys, so I'm going to just trade in a couple figures just to see what they take. And then I think maybe my next visit I'll trade in a bunch of my used stuff that Command D wouldn't take. And uh, hopefully go from there, at least try to get some clutter out of my room and uh get some good gems and uh i don't usually like to shop or video or at least look for video games on sundays but um we'll see what we can find all right everybody i'm back from uh my trip to uh bullnose and core gaming and uh overall core gaming they took everything i'm glad they did and these were the items these were the only items that they did not take they didn't take this uh a track tape the santana a track tape they didn't take this uh Harry Potter Blu-ray because uh, the DVD's missing for it. They, for some reason, didn't take this Dragon Ball DVD. I, I was like, why didn't they take it? Is it just like an old movie? And yeah, the disc, as you can see, is cracked if I can... All right, I hit the back button by accident. Um, So uh, yeah, the disc is scratched on this Dragon Ball DVD. So uh, yeah, so uh, I'll have to like trade that elsewhere or... I tried to trade it a bonus again, but I can see why they didn't take it. They also didn't take any of the comics that I brought that I got from uh, Walmart. So uh, 
Yeah, those are the only items that they did not take, and they took everything else, including the uh, toys and everything. I I even brought one of the Starling figures, and they and they took it. And uh, in total, I got sixty five dollars and eleven cents in store credit, which is awesome. And these are the items I got: the seals, the little little deviants for PlayStation Vita. Uh, they had a few video games left. Uh, they had a couple sports titles. I would have picked those up, but I didn't really need them. So I just got little deviants. The price is accurate, eighteen ninety seven. And then this is pretty cool: Wing Commander Four, the Price of Freedom on original PlayStation. And yeah, it has the four discs. It even has like the original manuals. It's like, it's like almost brand new and everything. Even the disc looks like it's just been opened. Besides that fingerprint, it looks like it's never been used. You know, it has the original manual in there. It has the one manual. And the other manual has all four discs. That is awesome. And uh, also, um, the price is a little too much, but um, I thought it was pretty cool. Ratchet and Clank, Crack in Time. I didn't have this one. It also had the manual, which is why I picked it up. I don't have any. I don't have much Ratchet and Clank games. I like to buy more. And yeah, that was the only Ratchet and Clank game that I saw at the store that I did not have. And yeah, um, that I pretty much just used all my store credit on that. I only have like 20 cents left, and it's probably from those Lord of the Rings tapes. I don't know. And uh, after that, I went to uh, Core Gaming and uh, got my games resurfaced. Uh, Xenosaga, I'm going to sell my Etsy. Need for Speed, I got fixed. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha works and Reboot. Um, I, th I didn't test out all of them, but I'm sure they all work. I mean, they did resurface them. I'm sure they work. And then uh, I found uh, one of these uh, <laughs> McDonald's uh, Sonic the Hedgehog toys. It's an LCD game. This is the Shadow Basketball game. It was only $4.99. I don't know if it works. The battery, I think the battery's dead on this, so I'll have to like, get a replacement battery for it. And luckily I have the right screws for it, so and I think someone tried uh, going in themselves on this little LCD game, but oh well. I mean, $4.99, you know. And I also got Wipeout Omega Collection. I was looking around. Um, the uh, trading credit that I got at Core Gaming was uh, 43 in store credit. I was looking around. I didn't, couldn't really find anything that I really needed. And then I just saw this, and I was like, oh, I don't have Wipeout Omega Collection. It's around a $23 game, but I thought, you know, I'd just, I'll just get it. Uh, GameStop sells it for like 20 but, I mean, I can't complain about $30. So, uh... Yeah, I got Wipeout Omega Collection, got my games to surface, got a few games of Bull Moose, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of my uh, little three-part trading haul video. So uh, yeah, and this is just beginning. Uh, I'm, I at least got some stuff out of my room. I'm also preparing another little trade-in box for a lot of my sealed toys and stuff, so uh, I'll do a video on that soon. And uh, overall, that's it for this video. You guys enjoyed, and... Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.